Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing McCart's new Disco Collection. They released 8 reflective gel polishes, 12 reflective poly gels, and I believe 6 acrylic powders, but I'm not good enough with acrylic yet, so I didn't order those. Since it's a disco themed collection, I figured I'd make my look look disco, and we're also going to be doing a set of nails later on disco themed. When they dropped these at midnight, I knew right away that I had to have these gel polishes because they had all of the colors of the rainbow in them. So I went ahead and ordered those immediately, and they came with a free pack of nail decals, different sizes. And as soon as I woke up, I just couldn't resist. So I went and bought all of their poly gels as well. And this was a separate order. So the poly gels also came with nail decals and a nail liner. I'm gonna swatch these gel polishes. This is what all the colors look like with just one coat. Wild cherry, candy apple, tangy orange, lemon drops, lime jelly, raspberry sour, sugar buttons, and watermelon height. A couple things I noticed when I was swatching these is the brush is a little bit shorter and bigger than I'm used to. That's actually pretty nice because that way you have control so it doesn't spread as easily as the other gel polishes because there's more glitter in it. You kind of have to play with it more. Or what I've learned to do is just glob it on a little bit more on the brush and it's way easier to spread that way. It does smell, it smells like foil glue. I'm gonna put a second coat on these and top coat them, that way you guys get the full effect. These are so sparkly. They honestly remind me of acrylic powder before you mix them with monomer. Absolutely stunning. Put the two coats on, you can see there's a slight difference in the two reds. I'm gonna walk these into a darker room really quick and show you what they look like under the flashlight. Oh my god. Y'all, I cannot with these colors. All of our poly gels come in individual boxes. Before I step out and open the rest of these, I just wanted to point out they bubble wrapped it. I really appreciate that. They also have tin foil seals. We're gonna do the first nail with you guys. That way you can get an idea of the consistency. Your slip solution was out, so I'm just using rubbing alcohol to move this poly gel around. First one is Ibiza, and it looks like a blue color. It's probably about 72 degrees in my room. It's pretty firm to be honest. That's probably a lot more than I needed for a thin layer. It's not very sticky and it doesn't run around or anything like that. Kind of just stays where you put it. I absolutely love this. I'm gonna do this with the rest of them. This layer here is just one thin layer of the poly gels. And then I didn't want to waste too much product so Instead of building it up on the nail, I just decided I was going to squeeze out a little bit onto this paper towel, and that way you guys can see the more opaque version of it. I also wanted to try out the nail liner, so this is the shade that I got. It's Pink Garnation. Gel polishes, they just have the silver reflective flakes in it. Poly gels, they also have the reflective glitter in it, and then they have glitter that matches the base poly gel, and they all have holographic glitter in it as well except for this one which is love drunk if you look a little bit closer it just has red flakes in it it doesn't have hollow flakes like the rest of them this one here is Ibiza, Odessa, Love Struck, Enigma, Dance Again, Nightclub, Starlight, After Party, Club Revolution, Uzi Brunch, Hangover Juice, and Vagabomb or Vagabomb. So the gel polishes are definitely the more vibrant colors and then the poly gels are more neutral colors except for this Ibiza one. That one I'd say is pretty bright. It looks like no matter if you have a thin layer or a very thick layer, they're still pretty reflective either way. It doesn't really look like a difference. Amazing. These desperately need some help. So I'm going to soak off this gel polish really quick. I put poly gel on my nails in the shade Odessa just because I wanted a hard overlay on my nails so I don't break them while I'm working on these ones. For this set, I decided I was gonna actually do them on a set of press-ons because the designs that I drew out are very, very detailed and I feel like it'll be a lot easier if I just do it on a press-on. That way I can like move it around how I need to. Here's what comes to mind when I think of 70s disco. 
And up here you can see I've kind of already planned out the base colors of what I'm going to be doing. Not only is it easier to draw the designs on press-ons this way, but I'm also going back to work tomorrow. YouTube is my dream, but I'm going to have to put it on hold. I'm going to try my best to get a video out to you guys at least once a week. I'm very excited to go back, but at the same time not because my mental health has been so much better recently. Just to save you guys a little bit of time, I'm going to do most of the base colors as poly gel. I'm going to start with like a 70s themed pattern. This is kind of what I'm going for. I'm going to start by taking white gel polish and just drawing in the squares because it's going to be too transparent of a background and the gel polishes won't stand out as much. I absolutely agree with Emily Suzanne on this part. I forgot to put a matte top coat on and you can see that when you paint it on a glossy design, it doesn't stay the way it paints. It won't stick to something smooth. Let's try that again. Got the matte top coat on. Now it should be much easier. In between each row I do, I'm just going to flash cure it. That way I'm not ruining the row that I just did. While that's flash curing, I'm just going to mix a little bit of the yellow and a little bit of the orange to make a different shade of orange. Now you better pray for me because I got to do these tiny little lines. And again, I'm going to do that with white first, that way the color shows up. I don't know how I'm going to be able to fit little tiny circles in the middle of that, but I'm going to try and use this dotting tool and see how that works. And the ones that are still left over white, I'm going to try and put a little bit of poly gel on it in the shade after party to match the base color. So I put more white in between the squares and then I went back over that with after party's poly gel again. And then I took a dual form with McCard's clear poly gel and just did an overlay of that. And the reason I did it in a dual form is that way I didn't have to file as much. And I thought I was going to like it matte better, but I'm really liking the way it looks glossy now that the white is in between there more. Now we're going to move on to probably the one that I'm most excited about, and it's the Disco Dancer. I'm actually going to start with the lasers in the background, and then I'm going to do the disco floor, and then I'll do the dancer. I think I'm going to take some watermelon hype and sugar buttons mix those together and make a custom color for the laser i kind of want the lasers to look transparent so i'm not putting white underneath it for that reason because i don't want the lasers to be the focus i kind of just want them to be in the background i feel like i started this too low so i'm actually going to move it up a little bit redo is it perfect no but the Disco Dancer is going to cover up most of it anyways, so I'm just going to cure it like this. And the reason I chose to do the lasers with a custom color is because the Disco Floor, I want to put all of the colors of the Disco Collection in there. The Disco Floor, it's got to be as vibrant as possible, which means we're going to put a white base color. It's so hard to get a straight line on a curved nail. I'm going to draw on those basic lines before I put the colors, just to give me an idea of where to put my colors. I'm just going to start filling in the colors randomly, and I want to do at least one color of each. I think so that I don't mess up anything, I'm going to matte top coat this before we start drawing on the Disco Dancer. We're gonna take some black. And because it's still so bumpy, 
Instead of doing a top coat, I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna take a dual form, fill it with McCart's clear poly gel and overlay it that way. And this is absolutely my favorite clear poly gel because it's super clear, like crystal clear, no air bubbles. I'm just gonna take one that is slightly bigger than the press on. I just feel like this will be an easier way to even everything out and also seal in the design. I'm going to hold it like this and cure for a second. Ta-da! Just lather this in rubbing alcohol before I file it. Now we're going to file and shape this. I accidentally filed through this bottom part, so I just covered that back up really quick with more gel polish. I tried, guys. I tried. You know what I was trying to go for. That's all that matters. Now we're gonna start on this hippie looking one. Make it super bright with some white. This is probably gonna be one of the easiest designs in the whole set because what 90s baby hasn't drawn smiley face, heart, peace sign, flowers, or rainbow a thousand times by now. Should I cure them? I'm gonna draw on a mouth and see if a mouth will make it look a little bit less scary. Oh, these eyes are creeping me out. I gotta do something with them. Put a little bit of white in there and hopefully that'll help. Nope, that made it creepier. <laughs> Maybe one more dot of black on the eyes. <laughs> that he'll be on my finger he'll be looking this way at the disco dancer i think that's probably the only way to make this look not creepy at this point for the middle of the flower i'm gonna take one of these rhinestones i'm just gonna make it a pattern at this point to seal everything in with the poly gel because it just makes everything so much shinier and smooth to do it this way This next nail, I'm gonna be doing plaid, and just to make it a little bit easier, I went ahead and put nail vinyls on there. That way I can make my lines a little bit straighter. I've also always had the hardest time getting nail vinyls to stick, but this has a matte top coat on it, and it's stuck, no problem whatsoever. Because I already have these blue guidelines, I'm not really worried about putting more nail vinyls down for the inside red lines, so I'm just gonna sketch those on freehanded. I used the candy apple for the lines, and now I'm gonna take wild cherry, and where the lines cross, I'm just gonna put a dot of wild cherry. Now I'm gonna see what it looks like if I put purple where the red and blue lines cross. And yep, you guessed it. We did poly gel again. You can see that air bubble right there. This is not the most effective way to get a super, super transparent thing because you can get air bubbles like that. We're gonna do the word groovy, but we're gonna do it in disco dots. I went ahead and put two vinyls on it just so it's not crooked. Start with the O's in the middle. Please hold while I get this correct. That's as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna start filling in these colors now. This is why I like getting collections with all of the rainbows because I can make pretty much any color. I feel like I should do something with black to make this stand out. I can tell you already that outlining each individual dot will make it look too dark. So I think maybe I'll do an outline like this. Uh-oh, I f***ed up. I'm gonna put a little more hangover juice right there. Try and top coat that again. I really hate to do this to you guys and I hope you understand, but each one of these nails took at least an hour to paint, if not more. So you can imagine how much I have to edit down 
and my phone storage is just completely full so I'm gonna stop it here and I'm gonna have to make a part two for I'll leave the video of me painting my right hand right here for you guys and that will also show the final nails so you guys go check that one out next if it's not up yet it'll be up within like two three days I promise remember to keep your heads up and have a great day Thank you.